Hi guys, I'm at the library. I'm at my favorite library. Actually, one of the two that I go to. And as you can see, I have some books already. Uh, I'm going to go in and look around the library so I can find and then I'll come back out um, with these books to pick these up, to pay for these books and so forth. So I have to do that. And let's get going. I have been trying to show you guys the library and so forth ever since I've been um, coming out here. Uh, this is my third trip and look what they have. They didn't have this in here before. So I'm going to be kind of quiet and just look through the library and everything, walk you through it. Hopefully I can get some um, good shots in here and all that. I'm only going to take you on this one side. There's hardly no one in here and everything. Because uh, I want to go ahead and get the books paid for and go ahead and get out of here. Uh, these are CDs, DVDs, whatever. And all that. And of course, this is where you do all your computer work and all that study outlet room and all that so just give you a little tidbit here and i'll go pay for my books so thank you for joining me good morning everybody it's the uh, haul time uh it's a book haul just strictly a book haul and i tell you i am hot from dragging those heavy books around um uh, and everything I do not know how one of my favorite videos back from burnout handles all those books that she has. But anyway, we're going to do what we got to do here and go ahead and show you these books and why we picked them up. Okay. Of course, you know it's sipping time too. I have to have this coffee. Okay, the first book is... um. Sue Grafton, which is one of my favorite writers. Now, I've already sold this book once, so I figure I'll pick it up again. <laughs> Somebody will still want it. Uh, I do have, like, one other book on my in my store, Pango Bookstore, uh, by Sue Grafton, which is you. Uh, and this is a W that already sold. Okay. Um... Uh, had an argument. He put this is an interesting book, and it seems to be a um, real vintage book back in time, um, and of great Kate Gables and so forth by L.M. Montgomery. I did do a little slit and reading here, and it does seem interesting and so far. Um, so I decided, yeah, I'll go ahead and pick this up. I'm pretty sure someone will like this. And all the books that I did, I did do the comp on it to make sure that, you know, we're getting a good price. Now, this book here is a paperback, but I do have full hardback. And I do have 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. And I was able to find the 9th grade uh, book to this year, uh, series, and so far. So, what I'll do is I'll basically just add this, um... A book to the other one since it's like in that same series but it's just paperback okay all right um i do have um uh, another jack reacher i love jack reacher the, the movies the two or three movies that i've seen and so forth so anytime there is a jack reacher uh i'm gonna pick it up now, this is a paperback, but I might pair this um, Jack Reacher with the one I already have um, and so forth, which is another reason I picked it up because I already have one. Okay. Okay, now this was an interesting book about New York City, uh, the, the Trojan Way. I thought it was a good book. It's like a sort of a history uh, acknowledgement of uh, New York City and things like that. Uh, imitation of moralities and all that. So I think somebody's going to want to read this book. Maybe one of the New Yorkers. I don't know. But here it is. Let's pick it up. 
take it back. Now this here is another book that really appeared to my interest, Liberation, a novel. Um, it is um, like a, a back in the country type book, drama and things like that. Hero, soldier, spies, leader, her name is Nancy Wait. So I really thought this was a pretty good book to pick up and everything. Um, so yeah, I decided to pick this up. Okay, I think this is Agenda, Agenda, um, A, Argen, Argen, Argentina, excuse me, can't see, can't read, Argentina, okay, from Export and so forth, uh, this is a pretty good book to read, you can tell by the cover, it's, <laughs> it's a nice book to browse through and so forth, and, um, it is um um a traveling book uh, that shows a lot of places in Argentina, so it gives you an Argentina history and so forth, and it looks pretty good. Yeah, romantic right there shows on there. Okay, now. I wouldn't have normally picked up Danielle Steele, one book. I'm not going to show her first because I got four of them. Okay, Miracles, Mysteries, and Prayers. I did, I was able to get volume one and volume two. I think this was a great sign and so far a great sign. Uh, these are, you know, give you uh, miracles, mystery stories and so forth about, you know, people's lives, what they're experiencing and things like that. Uh, that's why it's miracles, mysteries, and prayers and so forth. And I have volume one and two here. So I think somebody really wants to get into this book. Okay. Now I do have uh I do love Robert London uh book London book and this is the Born Dominion um Dominion and of course you know you got the Born the Born uh the whole theology of the Born um and all that stuff i think it's like four shows uh the born supremacies and all this and that so far and this is the born and it does have look like mac demon on the cover here um chasing and shooting someone uh and i do love those born uh movies uh, uh movies and so far so i think i picked this book up and i'm pretty sure a lot of other people like that too and they also like mac demon do three times the laundry and get a nice clean. It's got to be tight. Here's a great book by Jack Higgins. Um, I think related to Mary Higgins, which is a great mystery writer, and so is he. Um, he this is a suspense thriller, The President's Daughter. Uh, I believe this was a good movie with John Tavoka, and I can't think of the lady who played the president's daughter or the older man that played her father. But I do remember uh, John Tavoka being in there investigating her mother or uh, her murder, uh, the president's daughter. So yeah, I figure I picked this up. Yes, very good book right here. You think the books are better than, I don't know though, I can't say that books are better than the movie. Uh, but if you read the books first and so forth, you can just see the images coming alive in your mind and so forth. So you're really excited when the movie actually comes out and you get to see who's going to play who and this and that. And you see the whole thing explode right before your eyes on television. I like that. I did that with um, uh, the John Grisham's book, um, uh, um, his first book, um, I know it was um, something about murder and uh, the rape of that, or his daughter, uh, Samuel L. Jackson's daughter, and uh, Mahat, 
I'll get it right. I'm just gonna go ahead straight to another book. Okay, this is Nora Roberts, and this is a great book. This is like three stories into one book, which is the reason I picked it up. Nora Roberts is actually a good writer. She does write romance, mystery, and a little suspense and so forth. You got Sea Swept, Rising Time, and Inner Harbor. Uh, and this is the third edition and so forth, and this is like three books in one. So I figured I'd pick this up. Options start at nine dollars and okay. nine cents a month. Plus, this book here is a great book, there. no cover. So I don't even know if it's longer for cover. The Day the of the Jackal, um, and so forth by Vikings and so forth. This is one of those are uh, really interesting book, and you can tell uh by the red uh cover that this book is expensive and it's good read uh, and everything. Now, I did see a movie about jackals. Uh, it was not the day of the jackal, but it was something about like the jackal where Bruce, Bruce Willis played in and so forth. I really love TV, watching TV people. Uh, so I can remember some things, some things I can't. Uh, Bruce Willis played um, in the jackal and um, uh, Richard Beer, um, those were the two characters for that show and so forth. But this is a great book right here. I forgot to pick this up. Okay. Now, this was an interesting book, Light Years Ahead, the story of the P.H. Lamps, Lois um, Colson, and so forth. Um, this is a history of lights. Uh, lamps are bringing these designer lamp lights into the homes and things like that. I do believe beautiful illustrations and so forth in this book, and it gives you a lot of stories behind the lights and things like that. So I figure I'll put this book up, and this is also maybe a good tabletop book where you can leave out and so forth. Usually, books are good for decoration and so forth. And uh, this will be one of them. Okay. Okay. Um, I do that. Got the family circles. Uh, three cookbooks here. Uh, this is beautiful. Look at those cakes. Oh, oh my God, help me. Uh, and look here. Oh, but this one here. Oh my God. And here is another one. And these are going to be locked together. A uh, beautiful uh, illustration library of cooking and everything. And I'll tell you, these recipes look amazing. These look amazing. Okay. This book here, The Gray by uh, E.L. Uh, James. I do have uh, three of these books. Um, and so far, so what I'm going to do with this book here is just add it to the series or the volumes of the ones that I do have. And so far, um, so yeah, I'll be adding this to the ones I do have. Okay, this is David, um, Baldock. Baldock. I can't pronounce his name. Um, <laughs> Our game, this is real interesting. Of course, it's all about spies, murder, mystery, suspense, thriller, and all that good stuff and so forth. And he is a great writer. He has a lot of books out and so far. And the Our Game is one of those really great books that you want to get into. Some of these books that you get into reading so far, you won't even want to put them down because I know when I was an avid reader and I was just reading, reading, reading every day. Uh, if I got into a good book, I'll be like this here going to the bathroom, going to the kitchen, you know, just taking it with me, did not want to stop reading. Okay, we have one more in this box. Uh, the Final Judgment by Richard North Patterson, and so far, again, another great mystery suspense thriller, and so far, uh, in this book here. Very, very good book. Uh, from the little um, session here that I read, it's very, very good, and so forth. Usually when I, um, uh, like I said before, when I purchase books and so forth, I always read. Sometimes they have the information on the back or inside the book, like here, 
on the back. Uh, but usually, I always read this little uh, passage, little passage, little information there, and so forth to see how interesting the book is going to be. Sometimes, and so forth, if I don't know the author. Okay. Um. The Hamlet Experiment. I figure I picked this up. This is about um experimenting on babies and things like that. Uh, the writing is really big. Uh, I don't know if it's a large feature, but the print is really nice in this book. It's really dark and light and so far. And uh, I think this is a book where people want to read to find out what they're doing soon now. So, some kind of experiment on babies, because if you can see here, you'll see a little baby right on the cover here, and then you see a needle or something in this uh, hand and so forth. So you know something is being done and so forth. Also, too, and he gives you uh, some of that information just to wait your mouth, uh, <laughs> get your interest on the back here. <laughs> okay, so I think I picked that up. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and get Daniel Skill out of here. Okay, I have Daniel Skill. Okay. Why did it? I don't know. That's my wife. She's a witch. Oh, she's an innocent. It's alright, honey. It's alright, honey. I must be losing it because I thought I had at least. Mm -hmm. Or Daniel Steele, but it might have been three. So let's get to it. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, three. Daniel Steele is one of those writers who is well, well, well known and who has written a gazillion books. So she's well known, well loved, and a lot of people buy her book. And she is sold in massive form in this and that so far. So to get Danielle still a book and so far, just one or two books and so far, as a reseller, you're not going to make a whole lot of money in this and that. But if you get a lot of books with Danielle still and so far, and here's three here, uh, you got the Palazzo, out. Happiness, and Worthy Opponent, no. and so far. And she is a great writer. You know she does romance, little mystery, suspense, and so forth, and things like that. A great writer, great read, and all that. And so this is going to be a lot of... Um, actually, I do have one other Daniel still in my... Um, my on my store and what i may do is just lock that one up with this one as well so then we will have four hard co hard copies and that one paperback will be given as just a free um bonus and so forth so that's how i'll roll i don't mind giving stuff away you know what i'm saying i do not mind so um yeah so uh, they'll get the four Daniel Steele, the Daniel Steele fan, the four lot, and one free um, paperback. Okay, this book is a little tattered and so forth and things like that. But this is another one of Scott Toro's book and so forth. And this is presumed innocent. I hope I didn't buy the same book uh, because I do have uh, a couple books by Scott Toro now. And so forth. He is such a great writer as well. And so forth. And you can really get into uh, his books. He is one of those uh, authors and so forth that you'll be carrying the book around. Like I was just saying, you know, you want to, don't want to miss anything. You want to just, you know, like, you know, keep it, oh, you know, want to make sure you catch what's on that page before you put it down, you know, when you do put it down and things like that. But this is presumed innocent. And this also was on television. And so far, um, and I was trying to think of the characters um, that were in that this one here, but I don't remember off the top of my head, so I'm not even going to try it. Okay, got that. And um, here is a book by another MD uh, by the bedside of patients. Um, this is a book on how, um, that explains bedside manners of doctors, maybe, or the bedside manners of patients, or whatever. 
I did not read all uh, this, but just scanning a little uh, and so forth. But um, yeah, this you know, gives you. Uh, this is more 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 set of hospital uh, and so forth. And I guess it's just you know doctor view a uh, bedside manner. Okay, got that. I think I picked that up though. It's interesting. Okay, no cover. But that's okay, because I was going to pick up the king. <laughs> Stephen King. <laughs> Stephen King. His old books or his books are worth pretty good money and so far, depending on what year they were. And since this one didn't have a jacket on it or anything, I'm definitely going to pick it up to see. Oh, and this is a featured large print. Um, so this is a large print, and uh, this is um, published in the 19, um, 50, but this is um, not the first edition either. This is um, a print, a copyright print, a print of 2001, and so forth for this book here. So, but because it does feature, uh, this is Dreamcatcher. Uh, this was a movie as well. This was a movie as well. And, um, yeah, you know Stephen King is the king of horror. So, uh, if you like horror, and I know you love Stephen King, look, and look how thick this book is. And, and, uh, this has large print, um, uh, and everything, featured large print, which is really, really nice, and everything. So, I definitely was going to pick this up. I don't even think I did a comp on this, and so forth. I just picked it up. Some of the books, I knew I was going to get, I just didn't do a comp on it because I knew they were going to be worth something uh, and so far. And uh, so I wasn't bothered. Okay, when Wilma Randolph played basketball. Yes, thank you. That was nice. Now, Wilma, Wilma, now, that sounds like a girl, but this is like a little boy on here. I don't know. I would have to check this out. Wilma Wilma, oh, I might even be crying from later on, became a great American athlete, but do you know what she was like as a child? Okay, so this is a little girl, I'm assuming. A little girl. Okay, uh, and she played basketball. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. And this is a great little book uh, for little children, little girls who are interested in basketball. To get a sense of what Miss Wilma went through uh, to get on to play basketball. So I definitely was going to pick this up. Okay, definitely was going to pick that up. Okay, Playtown. Playtown. Um, it is for little children. Uh, you got your little card. These are is a cardboard book. Uh, I guess it's a, like a game book and so far for little children to go through and all that. So... I did I definitely wanted to pick this up for the little kiddos and so far um and everything and these are great little books it's christmas time so to give your little your kids and so forth it says with over 70 flaps and so forth so i would say 70 games um play play town a lift the flat book. Um, uh, it is Christmas time, uh, and th this reason I did gather up so many books. Um, so I did get quite a few books. I spent like twenty-five dollars into the store, uh, into the library. The books are really inexpensive. You can go in there and get what you want to want or what they have. I, I won't say get what you want, but what they have. <laughs> At a reasonable price, you can get uh, quite a few books to um, for your bookstores and things like that. And I'm pretty sure it's like that in every state and so forth at the library. They, uh, the library does have book sales and also they do have yearly annual book sales where everything is 10 cents, 50 cents, and blah, blah, blah. But they are still regularly as inexpensive when you go into the, you know, the library and just purchase them and all that. So, this, I think, it's my third or fourth time in that library to purchase books and so far. Um, so, I'm like really, really glad and really pleased about the books that I did pick up and so far. Hope you guys um, will check out my bookstore, Pango Bookstore, HTTPS 
um, Pango, P A N G O, books, uh, dot com slash bookstore slash unit 261247. These books will be on my bookstore before this week is out. I'm going to just wipe them down a little bit. I always do. Uh, then, of course, you know, I got to take all these pictures and all that stuff to get them on my book, on my store. So, that's what I'll be doing. And uh, some of them I even got to comp because I didn't even comp them because, you know, uh, I just knew I was going to pick them up. So, I didn't bother. And some of them is going to be just added. So, I'm going to have to break down some listings and add some books to those listings because... You know, that's you know, what I'm going to do. So, I see you guys on the next thrifting. Who are you worried about? Really?